bonjour à tous. Uh, I had some technical issues, but now it's okay and everything uh, should be uh, well fine to start the I mean lesson. It's not really a lesson because we'll do some exercises. So um, I can see that uh, you're here. So we will use uh, the chat. Uh, um, to write your sentences or write the words. I will ask you to write things and then I will correct them uh, and I will give you uh, the proper way to write them or, or how you should uh, enhance the way you write it. So I'm struggling with my words now. So let's start. Uh, if that's okay with you, we can start with the first thing and I would like you to try to uh, write me a sentence to talk about whether the morning, uh, the afternoon or the evening. So things that you just did before this uh, session. So if you want, you can write that in the present tense. You could write it in the passé récent, this recent past with venir de, or then you can use the passé composé if you want. So use uh, the chat to write your sentences and uh, I will correct them and I will help you. Alors, Nita Fre Freddy, oui, is a writing, je travaillais cet après-midi. Alors, Nita, uh, let's say that it's, it's perfect, but, uh, well, we could discuss about that. The après-midi, it's quite interesting, because um, nowadays, if you look and if you listen to people, you can hear people use uh, après-midi in the feminine form. But in fact, uh, it's a masculine form, but I mean, now we, we, we tend to agree and to, to, to accept the, the feminine way. So uh, you could write it set like you did, but uh, in fact, it's un après-midi. So if you really want to be a purist, and I don't know if that's the case, you could write set après-midi, C-E-T. Okay? Alors, Papillon 17 is writing, je n'ai pas encore de temps pour faire beaucoup de choses. Look at your sentence, Papillon 17. Je n'ai pas encore de... Alors, encore, it's C-O-R-E, be careful, and it's de, 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 temps. You don't put the plural form. Uh, faire, uh, go with the E in the end. Faire. J'ai pris une tasse de café, c'est tout. Uh, well, it's good. Uh, Victoria Possé dit, bonjour, je prends mon café très tôt. Uh, well, it's perfect. I, I, uh, one second. Da, 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 Victoria, look, you, you forgot the R uh, after the T. Remember, trop, it's T-R-O-P. Okay? Um, and then I assume you don't have the accent uh, on your keyboard, so it's, uh, it's okay like that. Uh, Sabrina is writing, je prends ma petite déjourne. Alors, be careful, Sabrina, because uh, the word is petit déjeuner. Okay? So it goes with J-E-U-N-E-R. And because it's masculine, you should put the, the, the adjective possessive in the masculine form. Mon 
petit déjeuner. Ok. Euh, ensuite, nous des is uh, telling us ma amie a été une petite chatte. Ok. Uh, in that case, alors remember, nous, um, it's 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 really a strange strange thing, but you need to remember that. Um, so we've got this rule in French when we have words that are like ami starting with the sound of a vowel in that case we will have to use the possessive adjectives but the masculine form uh, so you don't say ma ami you are a logical person it's good but now you need to remember that all the words that will start with a vowel or the sound of a vowel will require the po uh, the masculine possessive adjective so mon ami D'accord And then if you uh, want to be precise, and I assume you want a petite chat, in that case, remember that chat, you should put that in the feminine form. So it's uh, double T, double T, E. Merci beaucoup. Uh, TLB, pour le moment, j'écoute à toi. Alors, remember, uh, TLB, that uh, écouter, in that case, you don't put any preposition. So you should say je and then remember that we put the the the, 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 the sorry the pronoun before the verb so it should be je te this is the pronoun écoute and because you have these two uh, next to each other the te you will remove the e uh, and you will put apostrophe so you end up with your structure je Écoute. Ok. Avant, j'ai écouté. Alors, écouter. Maybe you would go for regarder to watch, but if you want to listen, then in that case, it's totally correct. Remember that you should put the accent also on the first e. Uh, écouter. Uh, and it's feminine. Une autre vidéo. D'accord. Uh, super modère et c'est que je me lave souvent les mains en raison de la quarantaine. Super modère, it's perfect. Félicitations, no mistakes. Um, alors, papillon 17, je n'ai pas encore de temps. Yep. Uh, temps with the S in the end, remember. Pour faire beaucoup de, de, de choses. Remember, no S, but then S at choses. Uh, Arpan Alder, je viens de finir mon déjeuner. Parfait, Arpan, it was really good. Nudé, il n'a pas eu le temps de moi. It's a strange, strange sentence, Nudé. I don't really know what you want to mean with that, but I understand. Alors, uh, Michael or Michel, by the way, I've been writing the, the, the letter. I will click it right now. Bonjour, je viens de me coucher il y a deux heures, mais je me suis, vi, je me suis servi de mon réveil pour me réveiller afin d'être présent ici avec vous tous. Mais c'est gentil, euh, c'est gentil, euh, Michael ou Michel. Alors, nous allons passer euh, à l'exercice suivant. So, we'll go to the next uh, exercise. And it's uh, vocabulaire. So, now you can see a picture. And I would like you to try to find five words uh, that could be linked to this, uh, this picture. Uh, I would like you to put the article, if you can. So, if you want to put nouns, in that case, remember, I would like you to put un or une. Okay, just to have a just to have a look and to see if you uh, if you remember the gender. So we can take few uh, seconds.
Alors, Akanchka has been writing une fourchette. C'est parfait, Akanchka. Euh, nu, une fille, un homme. D'accord, très bien. So remember that nu, if you go for, after that it's up to, it's up to you. Uh, remember that if you want to, to, to use the same uh, concept of age, then in that case it might be une femme, un homme. Or then, younger, it would be une fille, un garçon. But it's really up to you, and in that case, of course, I mean, you can say une fille, un homme. Um, Papillon 17 is uh, saying la nature, oui, une casserole, parfait, le vin, un poivron, and it's true, uh, un couple, parfait, Tolu, sorry I'm late, no problem, um, Robert, bonjour Robert, so uh, remember, uh, if you arrive late, you can still participate and try to find five words uh, that are associated to this uh, picture. So we continue with uh, Nita. Nita is saying le déjeuner. Remember, Nita, famille, it's feminine. Une famille, d'accord Un vin. So it's a tricky thing when you go for un vin because basically, um, in that case, probably you want to say with the, the partitive du vin, some wine. You don't want to define the, the quantity. Or then you could say une bouteille de vin. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's up to you. Sabrina, uh, vous mangez. So Sabrina wants to go with the, the verb manger and then put that in the vous form, which is good. Uh, Jason is saying deux bouteilles de bière. So this is good, uh, Jason. Deux bouteilles, it's good. Remember that bière, you will write that with the final e uh, uh, in French. And we put an accent grave on uh, the first uh, bière. Okay. Uh, Calico, Jack is saying une famille. Très bien, Calico. Sabrina, il y a. Alors, be careful, Sabrina. Remember, il y a, you've got three words. Hein? Il, i, and then a. Okay, it's the verb avoir, in fact. Hein? Uh, when you say les légumes, you should put légumes uh, with the final s in the end because it's the plural. Uh, une fourchette. Is telling us Tolu, très bien. Euh, Monsieur Michael ou Michel, un arbre, c'est parfait. Euh, Akanska, les assiettes, remember that les assiettes should be with S uh, in the end because you put the plural form. Emily, une famille, un repas, ils sont dehors, la nature du vin. Parfait, Emily. Euh, Akanska, les bois, très bien. Marija, la famille, le petit déjeuner, les fleurs. Remember, uh, Marija, you don't put in fleur, hein? it's F-L-E-U-R-S. Le parc, uh, try to write it uh, as we do, so it's only P-A-R-C. Remember, P-A-R-C. La conversation, un repas, une fourchette, un arbre, une bouteille de bière, du vin, une casserole, une bouteille, une assiette, un petit déjeuner en famille, une cuistance. What do you want to say with a cuistance super moderne? I'm not sure I follow you there. Calico is saying les brunettes. Yep, yeah. be careful because brunette, um, we don't really use it the same way English speaking persons are using that. Brunette, it's like young uh, uh, girls who are uh, brown hair so it's it's up to you brune it's the the the, the main uh, the main uh, thing so elle est brune she's brown hair but brunette it will be for a uh, 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 children in most of the cases. Uh, alors, uh, Michael nous dit une femme, un homme, l'été, un pique-nique, merci beaucoup, une salade. Alors, Berilla, une tomate, il mange la, le soleil, be careful, uh, Berilla, le soleil, it's masculine firm, and then you write it S-O-L-E-I-L. Uh, yep, viande, uh, berry lights feminine. Remember, une nappe, it was perfect. Arpan is saying un homme, deux femmes, uh, uh, un homme, deux femmes, une table. Il y a différents types de nourriture. Il y a une bouteille sur cette table. Melissa is saying bonjour. Bonjour Melissa, we can go to the next uh, part now, if that's okay with you. And it will be uh, phonétique.
Alors, la phonétique, well, it will be quite interesting because for this uh, phonetical part, in that case, I will just ask you to first uh, listen to me. On your own, you will uh, repeat uh, after me. And then I will read one word and I want you to write it. Okay, so we'll try to make it fast. Of course, it means that you should be fast. And after that, we'll see exactly. Uh, uh, so I don't really want to stay too long on each slide. Okay, so this one is the first slide. And so I will read them. You can repeat after me on your own. Gaz. Gaz. Lézé. Léger. And now I would like you to take the time to write me Lézé. Très bien, so I can see that it's clear for everybody. Try to, to, to write it um, as, as, as correct as possible, okay? So you can have that uh, the slide and you can just rewrite it. But of course it was lazy and it was correct. So now uh, comes the next uh, slide. So I will read them, same thing, and I would like you to take the time to write them or to write the one that I will read. Ok, listen to me, repeat after, ok? Rosé, Roger, Asie, Agi. And the word I would like you to write is Agi. So it was perfect. Uh, Melissa is asking what is the meaning of agi. And uh, well, Melissa, maybe it's too small, but then I tend to put uh, the translation in the little blue boxes that you can see. The verb agir, it's to act, to do something. And so agi, when you conjugate it in the first or the second person, in that case, it's jagi, tu agi. Okay, it's to act, and but but really the, the, the acting concept of doing something. 
Okay, alors let's continue now with the next uh, slide. So I will repeat, uh, I will read them, you will repeat them on your own. And after that, you write the one that I will read. Uh, cage, casse, agi, assis. And the word I would like you to write is casse. Okay, so it seems to be uh, quite okay for everybody. Everybody understood and heard CAS, so it's good. Uh, Jaime is joining the class. Bonjour, Jaime. Uh, so now you are right on time for the next exercise. If I manage to make my thing work, and apparently I'm struggling a bit, let's see. Okay, so... Here comes the slide. There is a slight delay which is quite interesting uh, between what I click and what you see. Well, let's hope the picture will show now because this is exactly... Well, it's an exercise. So Papillon 17 is asking a question, what is the difference between A and A for the sound S and G? Not sure I understood uh, you, but if you combine, you want to, to combine it uh, with S. So if you combine it, you mean before or after? Uh, give, me, give me a bit more uh, information, Papillon 17, and I will be happy to, uh, to answer to you. But now look at this uh, funny uh, picture, and I would like you to tell me, uh, with one sentence, please, uh, what does, does she think or what uh, does she say? Que pense-t-elle ou que dit-elle? So try to write... Uh, one sentence. Uh, Papillon D said, come back to the, to your, your question and I will answer, but I'm not really sure I understood properly, so I don't want to, 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 to give you a, a wrong answer. Okay? Merci beaucoup. So you have uh, one little minute to write uh, your sentence.
Alors, Papillon 17 uh, is saying non. The previous slide, phonetic, which sound was different? Ah, oui. OK. But in that case, Papillon uh, 17, so the, the, the slide that um, we've been seeing, it was A and then followed by double S. So, the, I mean, the, 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 the sound was really strong and it was A. Whereas if you have this A, G, E, it will be A, G. Okay, but you have also the possibility to have only one S and it will be as. In that case, it was really a strong s, -s, 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 -s okay, whereas the other one will be j, 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 j. Alors, euh, donc, 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 let's go back to our exercise now. Uh, so, uh, Michel, so, or Michael is saying, appelle-moi Michel, s'il te plaît, pas de problème. Alors, Nita is saying, elle dit, je pense, je t'aime. Très bien, we've got some romantic people uh, in the class here. Let's try to see, because I am lost now in your thing. Uh, so, Nita said, euh, elle dit « Je pense, je t'aime », d'accord. Euh, nu, euh, elle dit « Tu es belle ». Ok, d'accord, no problem. Emily, quel bon chien tu es. It's really good, you've been using the « quel uh, » and the structure is really, really perfect, Emily. But you are an advanced student, let's agree on that. Akanska, uh, I, I, I always struggle with your name, sorry about that. « Je t'aime, mon cher chien. It's perfect. Euh, » Tolu, elle dit « Je t'aime. Euh, » Papillon 17. « Je veux... » Remember, Papillon 17, when you use the verb « vouloir uh, » for the first person, « Je veux, it goes with X. » V-E-U-X. Euh, « Te donner » should be in the infinitive form, so « E-R. » Victoria, elle aime beaucoup à son chien. Yep. Remember, uh, Victoria, elle aime beaucoup, you don't put uh, any preposition, ok? Elle aime beaucoup son chien. You could say, elle aime beaucoup le café, etc. Ok? Galia is saying, elle pense, remember Galia, when you write the verb penser, it's not with C, but it's with S. Elle pense que le chien l'aime bien. The rest is perfect. Uh, Melissa, elle dit, j'ai Fin. So remember, Melissa, fin is written F-A-I-M. F-A-I-M. OK, be careful. Uh, Kanika, elle pense que son chien est le meilleur et elle lui dit que je t'aime beaucoup. Alors, Kanika, if you want to, to keep the logic in your sentence, you should definitely, uh, in the second part, uh, transpose the je t'aime uh, with elle l'aime, d'accord uh, Or then, yeah, it, it would sound strange like that. So, elle pense que son chien est le meilleur et elle lui dit qu'elle l'aime beaucoup. And it would be good. And you were extremely generous, Kanika. You've been posting four times the same thing. You want to make a point, apparently. Uh, super, super modèle. Tu vas me saliver <laughs> <laughs> It's a funny one. <laughs> TLB. Je pense que tu as oublié. Yeah. Oublié. Remember, this one is interesting. Oublié de faire. So you need to put the preposition de. OK. Uh, je pense que tu as oublié de. So this is the first step of the correction. And the second step is brosser. In that case, it should be the reflexive form. So, se brosser. But because you started with the tu, so we need to adapt the pronoun. Te. Je pense que tu as oublié de pronoun, remember, and then the, uh, sorry, preposition de, and the pronoun te brosser les dents. Euh, Michel nous dit « Je t'adore mon bébé ». Très bien, effectivement. Rodrigo nous dit « Tu es mon meilleur ami ». Parfait. Robert tu veux qu'on joue ensemble. Remember, Robert, that when you conjugate the verb vouloir, a second person, you should put V-E-X. Remember, uh, Galia is saying merci, merci. Je vous en prie, Galia. Alors, uh, Chamiso nous dit, tu es... Alors, remember that you go... Whether you go for the feminine form, because we have both for uh, the dog. Whether you go for un chien, or then you go for une chienne. You need to write chienne slightly differently. Remember, it will be double N-E. D'accord? Deux N-E. 
So after that, it will impact, obviously, your adjective. So when you say, tu es une bonne, then I want to put the feminine form. Chienne, double N, E, je t'aime. Uh, Berilla, j'espère que... Tu... Alors oui, j'espère que... Remember, right? it will go like, j'espère que tu n'as pas de corona. <laughs> Oh, let's well, let's laugh about it because it's a it's a sad topic. So I don't know if everybody uh, had to 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 you had the time to write your sentences. So I guess we can continue. So we continue a little bit with uh, the phonetic. It will be exactly the same uh, exercise that we had previously. I will read uh, these words and then you repeat them on your own. And after that, I just read one and you write in the chat the one that I'm reading. Okay. Age. Assez. Gère. Serre. And the word that I would like you to write is assez. Okay, so it seems that everybody got the proper word. So I guess we can uh, continue with this next slide. And so the next slide, I will do exactly the same thing. I will read the words. You repeat after me and after that you write what I am reading. So let's go for it. Gas. Gash. Asi, Ashi. And the word I would like you to write is cash. Okay, so you are fast. It is good. Uh, I can see. Be careful, uh, Shamiso. Uh, Shamiso, remember that cash, it's, uh, right, so in that case, it's from the, it's the family of the verb cacher. So it's with C and not 
S. Uh, it was the same for Mahmoud, Mahmoud Kassim. So remember, it goes with C, not, not uh, S uh, for the cash. D'accord? So let's see uh, the next slide. Uh, and it's coming right now. It's uh, the same concept, remember. I will read, you repeat, and after that you write uh, what I'm saying. Attention, on y va. Assez. Haché. Serre. Cher. And the word I would like you to write is cher. I'm sorry about that. There was a slight delay between <laughs> the slide and my voice, apparently. So you'll be on your own now. Alors, I had Nita, who's telling, slide isn't changed. And uh, Tolu is uh, saying the same thing, the slide was not changing. Yep, yeah. I've got one computer that is a bit, uh, doesn't want to work today, so I guess, uh, and it's always good to blame the machine. So, and in fact, it's probably me. But now you've got the thing, so everything is proper. And of course, we, we agree, and it was uh, really good, the fact that, uh, share can be in the masculine form or in the feminine form. In that case, it was the feminine form, but uh, it could be uh, the masculine too, and it's pronounced exactly the same way. But it was really good, so thank you very much for your uh, uh, contribution. Now we will go to the next exercise, and UPUP will cover les verbes, so the verbs. And in that case, look at this uh, slide. So we'll have, um, it's not the first 20, but we're starting from the number 21. Uh, so the, the, the verbs that are the most used in uh, French. Okay, so first I will read them. So you will repeat them on your own, but still it's always a good exercise. And after that, I will tell you what we will do uh, with uh, the, the, this slide. Okay, so we start with the first one. Croire. Demander. Rester. Répondre. Entendre. Penser. Arriver. Connaître. Devenir, sentir. And now I would like you to write in the chat the translation of the verb to stay.
mon Dieu, c'est formidable Tout le monde a trouvé la bonne réponse. So everybody found the correct answer and it's really good. So we agreed that to stay, it's rester. Ok, be careful because it's a common mistake to think that rester means to rest, hein, which is not the case. Hein, to rest, it's uh, uh, to rest, it's a reposer, it's a, it's a reflexive, uh, reflexive à une cuistance. <laughs> super modèle. I will go back to that super modèle. But uh, right now, uh, I'm just continuing with my, uh, with my, uh, my exercise. So I would like you now to uh, write me. So you can see that in the middle of the screen, you have the verb répondre. Okay. Could you please conjugate répondre in the je form? So write me je and write me répondre uh, conjugated in the present tense. S'il vous plaît, merci beaucoup. Alors, I'm looking at what you've been writing. Uh, be careful. So it's a tricky, uh, it is a tricky verb. Of course, it belongs to the third group. So I can see that canica, je réponds, it's good. Uh, début, début, be careful, because uh, répondre, it's uh, with DS. Uh, same thing for nu, remember, répondre is je réponds, DS. And it will be the same form for tu, uh, by the way. Uh, alors, I can it's good, super model, it's uh, super mother, pardon, it's good. Uh, Sabrina, uh, it is good. Be careful when you structure your sentence. Je réponds. In that case, you should say à sa question, hein, if you want to make a sentence. Uh, ice cubes, be careful because it's je réponds ds. Okay, uh, Calico, this is good. Robert, remember, same thing here. Third group, répondre, je réponds, DS. Uh, Berry Light's good. Galia, it's good. Uh, Nita, je te réponds. Good with the, the pronoun, thank you very much. Uh, Melissa, be careful, je réponds, DS. Tolu, this is good. Adrian, it's good. Marija, it's good. Emily, it's good. Arpan, no problem. Arpan, next time, be generous and put the je. It would be nice. Chamizo, it's good. Uh, Chaos uh, in a teapot, it's good. If you don't have the accent, and we agree, I assume that you don't have the accent on your uh, on your keyboard. If you have them, try to put them. It would be nice. Thank you very much. Melissa, what's the meaning of uh, répondre? Yeah, répondre, it's to answer, Melissa. Uh, it's to answer. So it's, it's a, I mean, quite useful uh, Verbe, euh, nu, d'accord. Euh, Michel, je réponds, parfait, avec l'accent, merci beaucoup. TLB, je réponds. C'est très très bien. Alors, nous continuons. So, I will click, but then it will take a while uh, to see the next uh, slide. And if you can see it. Alors, uh, how can I join the Zoom meetings? Normally, you've got uh, on the main page of YouTube, um, in the community tab, there is one page that is called community. You've got the invitation for the, the, the Zoom. So you can, uh, you can uh, click on it and, and it, will be, uh, it will be simple. And it's today. Uh, so you can see the next slide. Yes, I read, you repeat, we we'll agree. And after that, I will ask you a few things. So uh, repeat after me. Sembler, tenir, comprendre, rendre, attendre, sortir, vivre, entrer, 
reprendre, porter. And I would like you to give me uh, the translation of uh, to exit, to go out. Okay, so I can see that, my God, you're so fast, huh? So everyone found uh, the fact that, I mean, of course, I mean, go out, it's, uh, or exit, it's sortir, okay? Be careful because uh, in many cases, people tend to make the mistake and they mix it with partir. Uh, partir, it's to leave. Uh, but go out, it's really sortir. So this is great. This is great and... Uh, Debut is, is, is right when he or she says everyone got it and it is right. Now I will be a bit more uh, mean with you because we agree that sortir, even if it looks like a verb from the second group in ER, it is not at all. So same thing as previously. I would like you to give me the je form of sortir in the present tense. And you can start right now. Alors, 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 euh, <laughs> Adrian B has a theory. Je pense qu'il copie la réponse. Be careful, Adrian, it's feminine. La réponse. Uh, so, Adrian thinks that everybody is copying the answer. Well, th there is no point in that. I mean, let's make some mistake and then I'm, I'm helping you. And I think people don't copy. So, look, Kanika, je sors, it's good. Technique, uh, je sors, it's good. Uh, début, donc je sorti. Be careful because as you can see now, it's uh, from the third group and it's a tricky one. So, S-O-R-S. Je sors, you don't pronounce the final S. And it's the same form for tu, by the way. Emily, je sors. Calico, je sors. Well, I guess everyone will write it properly. Melissa, yeah, je ne sais pas. You see that Melissa is, uh, is totally honest and it is really great, Melissa. Uh, you should have a look at uh, the conjugation of sortir because it's quite uh, it's quite useful in fact and it's not that tricky you will see that it's je sors tu sors il sort phonetically it's the same you write it s s and t and after that nous sortons vous sortez ils sortent d'accord uh, the others they've got it and uh, okay so we can uh, continue with the next uh, slide so today we'll we'll stop with this uh, slide uh, regarding the verbs and so we're covering now the verbs from number 41 to 50 we're talking about the most used verbs in the french language okay so i'm just waiting for the slide to show for you and so i will read these verbs and you will just repeat them after me so chercher revenir remember you don't emphasize on the second uh, rev revenir appeler same thing here app Appeler, mourir, partir, jeter, suivre, écrire, montrer, 
tombé. Okay, you can see that the last one, this OM, it's a nasal, so it's on, 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 hein? tombé, tombé. You don't hear any M. Okay, and uh, I would like you to uh, write uh, the verb to follow. How do you translate to follow into French? Alors, to follow, to follow, it's suivre, okay? And in most of the cases, people uh, found it. So, uh, we've got few mistakes, but it's okay. I mean, that's that's the, the whole point of it. Uh, the whole point is to learn by uh, making uh, mistakes. And suivre is, in fact, uh, from the third group. And that's the reason why I will ask you something uh, uh, that is a bit tricky. I will ask you to give me the je form of suivre in the present tense. Okay, so how does it go, the verb suivre in the present tense for je? And you will see that we will have some surprises. Alors, it seems that everybody remembers the fact that suivre, it's a tricky verb. Because suivre, when you conjugate it uh, in the present form for the first person, and it's je suis. And basically, it's exactly the same form as the verb être, remember, je suis. So, in itself, the, the je suis form can have two infinitives. It can be to be or it can be also uh, to follow, uh, être or suivre. In most of the cases, it will be according to the context. You will understand, uh, uh, I mean, what is the, the, the verb, d'accord? So it's quite rare, I guess, when uh, you get mixed up and you don't really understand that it's être or suivre. Okay, everyone has it. Uh, Berilla, be careful, be careful. As I explained, it's a really tricky one, so you just need to remember that. It's not really, really, really important, but then it's S-U-E-S, -E d'accord? Ice Cube say, je ne sais pas. So that's the beauty about it, that you can learn by looking at uh, your colleagues, I mean, your fellow students, and uh, everyone, apparently, Tolu, be careful, yep, Tolu, yeah, it's a common... Common mistake to 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 put uh, to put uh, suive like that. Okay, you just need to remember that uh, it goes like s u e s. Melissa is asking for a sentence. Uh, what would you like to have to illustrate? Uh, je suis les instructions. If you follow instructions, in that case, it's the verb to follow. Uh, je suis les instructions. But it, it, it could be, if you're a private detective, you could even say, je suis cet homme. Uh, I am following this man. Je suis cet homme. 
D'accord. But in itself, this sentence, je suis cet homme, can be I am this man or I am following this man. But as I said, it is according to the uh, context. Okay, so uh, it's almost uh, the end uh, of this first uh, French life exercises. I, I don't know if uh, you enjoyed it. I think it was really funny. It was the first time for me. I think we were interacting quite well uh, together. So uh, remember that the, the next uh, lesson will start in, in, well, one hour, maybe a bit less, a bit more. It will, But normally I will be there, don't worry. Uh, it will be the same. I guess I will be a bit more at ease with the technical aspect. Could you just remember to uh, subscribe, of course, Put a beautiful uh, I like the video just to support me and then just tell me uh, where you're coming from so it would be nice. Uh, I will uh, just close this live uh, right after and then in a bit less than one hour we'll continue. Okay? Merci beaucoup. It was really nice.